Our next speaker is uh, Mr. Bregman, Jay Bregman from Halo, uh, who's going to talk a, a little bit about his product. Um, welcome to the United States. Um, uh, his bio's in the book. Excel Partners is one of his backers. And um, when I first met with him, also his father's a very accomplished person. Um, who's uh, what did he, he invented one of the um, medical devices that so, helped save a lot of lives, and I was very impressed with that as well. Hi, Fred. Yeah. Well, well, thank you very much for, for, for that introduction. Um, uh, Jeremy was talking about how Taxi Magic is the oldest uh, company up here. Oh, and, and I wanted to talk. I'm normally pretty loud, sorry. Uh, and I want to talk about how actually we're the youngest. Um, it's been a year since we started to distribute our app to passengers in London. And I just wanted to check in a little bit about how we're doing and then explain a little bit about the philosophy of our company and what makes us really different. Um, so today in London, tens of thousands of people will whip out their smartphone, uh, make two taps, uh, and then wait two minutes for a Halo taxi to come and pick them up uh, and pay. Uh, uh, drawing on a pool of over 9,000 uh, registered drivers. Uh, so I think we've made an enormous amount of progress, certainly much more than we could ever have uh, predicted at this time. We now operate in four countries. We have 20,000 drivers that are registered. We deliver drivers millions of dollars in incremental fares each week. Um, and, and let me just tell you a little bit about how we do it and, and what our approach is. Uh, because I think what's unique about Halo is from the very beginning, from the very first moment that we were founded, which has its roots in a Greasy Spoon Cafe in, in West London, um, we have an appreciation for both the problems of the driver and the problems of the passenger. Very fundamentally, we are here because we believe that this is, that the taxi market um, is ripe for innovation and is one of the last bastions of inefficiency in the modern world. Taxi drivers spend 30 to 50 percent of their time desperately seeking uh, new found fares while passengers find it very difficult to get a taxi with no one to put them together. So we thought about how to solve this problem. Myself, Ron, who's here, uh, our other partner, Casper, who's in London, uh, we'd all worked together on a previous business that was trying to create real-time on-demand marketplaces in the same-day delivery industry. It's a similar um, and complex problem. Um, and, and what we serendipitously came up with through a meeting with Terry, Russ, and Gary, our three other co-founders, who are three li London licensed black cab drivers with half a century of cab driving experience between them, brother's a cab driver, father's a cab driver, um, and they had started a business that was trying to put drivers and passengers together in a slightly different way, um, having some issues with the technology, but, but being very effective at communicating the message and really linking in with drivers. And through them, we discovered the core philosophy of Halo that would, I, I believe is responsible for our success to date. Um, and that is that we put drivers first. You know, everybody else in this business, from what we see, really focuses first through the lens of how do I optimize the experience for the passenger? You know, if only I can create a great experience for passengers, the drivers will, become, will come because they'll be drawn in by the incremental demand that we create. And, and in speaking with Terry, Russ, and Gary, we turned that on its head. We actually focus first on creating an engaged, happy community of drivers that's enmeshed through smartphone technology and a very sophisticated application they run on their own personal smartphones. And our challenge is we want to make that driver-only community so engaging and so effective and so valuable that they want to use it even if there weren't any customers that we were bringing them directly through the network. And the way we do that is through Terry, Russ, and Gary, we identified uh, some of the key and universal pain points of being a taxi driver, uh, profit maximization, isolation, and we build a suite of tools that help them overcome these problems. So in jurisdictions that allow it, like London, where car credit cards are not required, drivers can take a uh, credit card payment directly on the device at no cost to the customer uh, and at a small uh, uh, incremental charge to the driver with, without a subscription. Uh, Drivers can use and record, uh, keep a personal journal of their day. You know, most drivers, they keep, at best, they keep a personal logbook where they write down the fares that they've done or they just dump out the, uh, you know, the, the money bag at the end of the, the day, and that's their day. It's part of the reason the market is so inefficient. Uh, so what we allow drivers to do is to keep a journal of their, uh, their fares, their uptime, their downtime, and show them how they can use that information to make their day more efficient. And the final thing that we do is we uh, share with drivers, and we, ha we have drivers share and update events that are relevant to taxi drivers. And this could be how long the uh, taxi rank is at the Four Seasons Hotel in, in DC, you know, what's the status of all of the holds at JFK and LaGuardia, um, 
you know, or even that I just dropped somebody off and there's tons of people waiting for taxis at the Javits Center. All these little things combined to try and help drivers have a more sociable shift uh, and a more profitable shift. So the idea is that drivers use this technology and the other main uh, difference of the business is how it's managed. We actually have three taxi drivers like Terry, Russ, and Gary, community leaders that we draw into the business and become key managers in every city in which we operate. And they are responsible for taking this technology, recruiting drivers, localizing the technology to make sure that it actually works in the local jurisdiction, um, managing the driver community, um, and growing it as big as we, we possibly can. What we do that's different is, uh, once we deploy this driver technology, and we do this first when we enter a market, we make sure to grow it so that we have critical mass, so that by the time that we launch to passengers, we provide a service that actually works, that we nail that first time consumer experience. So consumers always get a taxi, drivers are always getting consumers that are close to them, and then we grow the markets up from there. And we are constantly oversupplied on the driver side. So we always have a little bit more drivers than we need at any particular point in time. We're only promising drivers 20 to 30% more incremental business each day in order to fill their downtime, which creates an experience for consumers that is as quick as hailing off the street, two minutes and falling in London, but just a lot more reliable and a lot more convenient. It allows people to hail from inside the bar, inside their homes, uh, you know, and connect with that cabbie around the corner and really solve fundamentally the line of sight problem that has been the big drag on efficiency uh, you know, in this market. So we've since expanded. We have some fan, uh, fantastic investors. Uh, we, our first expansion was Dublin, uh, where everybody said that Halo couldn't work because Dublin, if anybody knows, has 16,000 taxis for a relatively small couple of million people. Um, you're literally tripping over taxis on a Saturday night uh, you know, in town, and the taxis are bidding on you. you know, they're saying, how much off the meter can I bid for you to, uh, you know, for you to get in my cab? And what we've proven, I think, in Dublin, where we now are the largest taxi fleet that's ever existed in Ireland, uh, we have over 3,000 registered drivers, uh, you know, the business is doing uh, you know, almost a million dollars a month in, in uh, gross transactions, uh, you know, is that Halo is really about convenience. It's not just about availability. Uh, we launched in North America uh, this year, also in Toronto. Uh, we've since gone into Chicago, Boston. I'm now based in New York, working with uh, Ashwini to try and get Halo uh, launched there. Uh, one other key point, in every city in which we've launched, we have a philosophy and a strategy that is we engage with regulators. We have John Mason here, he'll tell you a little bit more about what, what it's like to work with us in London, um, as well as in all of the other cities in which we operate. Uh, we would love to talk to you about where we plan to go next and about the problems that you're having in your city and how we might be able to provide a free upgrade to your transportation network and to really help create rave reviews, not just among passengers, but amongst drivers as well. Uh, we have Tweeps here, who is uh, formerly with the Taxi and Limousine Commission. Tweeps, you want to stand up for a second? So if anybody wants to, uh, to contact us, please just contact Tweeps, and we'll get in touch. We'll hear all today and tomorrow. And I just want to thank everybody very much for your time and listening. Thank you.